sunny. It's a sunny one today. So we have two weeks left of projects before Christmas break. I spent all day yesterday doing my results section. I feel like I've been doing it for ages, but it's just taken so long to get everything done. And then this morning I was just proofreading. Hello? Hello? Jack isn't very well today. Hello, I'm dying. Are you still gonna make my dinner? No. No. You're not even dreaming about that. <laughs> it's totally what the ragu? Um, yesterday Jack woke me up and I said something like, where's my ragu? Can I have my ragu? And I'd been dreaming about Jack's ragu that he makes. So yesterday we went to the shop <laughs> and got all the ingredients for the ragu, which I'm hoping he's gonna make tonight. But if he's not very well, then we'll have to save that for another day. Anyway, today I have been proofreading my results section. I've been in this room all morning doing that. I'm feeling a bit claustrophobic. So I think I'm gonna go to campus because I know Sophie is there in the library. Um, and also the sun's just come out, which is a rare occurrence at the moment. I basically just spent the entire morning proofreading my results section because I don't want to send it to my supervisor if it's not pretty much ready to go. He wants to see it ASAP so he can give me the feedback and then I'm going to start the final part of the project which is the discussion where you talk about your results. So once I get to campus I'm going to read my results section one last time, send that to my supervisor Mark and then start my discussion section. I also really need to do my abstract. So an abstract, if you don't know, is just like a 300-ish word summary of your project from start to finish and you put that at the very beginning of your project or your dissertation or whatever. Um, and we have to submit the abstracts on the 21st of December. That's the only actual deadline before Christmas. So it's really important I get my abstract done. Um, it shouldn't take too long because it is just summarizing everything I've done, but it is something I need to get done this week. I actually managed to get a good chunk of the discussion section done and ended up leaving the library earlier than planned to go to the Winchester Christmas markets with some of the girls. Although we didn't realise it actually closed at six, which I feel like is quite early for a Christmas market. Um, so it was a pretty quick visit. But we did manage to get a Bailey's hot chocolate and some of us had some food as well. Well, it's now six and four. Hey, we're vlogging. Oh, you're vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> Look, Lydia Martin Medic. You should subscribe to her on YouTube. What sort of, what sort of stuff? She's a medicine she stuff. She vlogs about her uni life. Do you want to have a cameo in it? We'll, we'll advertise your Winchester store. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Coming. Lovely brownies here for sale. Beautiful. <laughs> from Winchester. Where are we putting the tree? In that corner? Well, I was thinking that, but then we'll need to move the mirror temporarily. Or we could put... We could move the plant. Mm. What do you think? I'm going to put up the flat Christmas decorations. Sans Jack, because he's in bed. Boring. Boring! And... Boring. We're just unravelling at the moment. This is hard work. And we're going to put on the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special. Oh, Gav. Oh, Gav. And this is going to go at the top of the tree. Beautiful. <laughs> Right, 
right, Luke, you have to try the wine. Cheers. This is authentic Greek Retsina. It's, it's matured. Cheers. Just like us. I just think it's a bit quick. Bit quick! You and Stacey were one band but I'm married and moving. Luke, that is dreadful. <laughs> oh! oh. Good work, Ellie. Good work, Luke. I'm so sorry to interrupt the vlog, but I wanted to tell you all about today's video sponsor, Lecturio. If you haven't heard of Lecturio before, they are basically an all-in-one education platform for medical students and nursing students. I wanted to tell you all about my favourite features on the website and just run through what I think are the best parts so that you can have an idea of what they're about and maybe go and check them out after this video. So for me, I think the most impressive feature on the website is the massive collection of lectures they have on there. I haven't seen anything like it on any other kind of like medical revision resource platform. So I would absolutely recommend you go and check out their collection of lectures. All the lectures are really concise and easy to follow and they break them down into small chunks so you don't have to sit through hours at a time of lectures. Especially if you've been at uni all day, you might not want to come home and watch an entire series of lectures at home so it's just good that they break them down in a way that makes them easy to digest. I also think sometimes at uni there might be a lecturer who you don't particularly get on with their teaching style so well so you could use Lecturio to go over a topic that you maybe aren't as clear on and want to go over again and really solidify your knowledge and I also like that right next to the lectures they've got extra resources so you can go over things multiple times but honestly Lecturio is incredibly thorough and you will find pretty much every topic you cover at medical school on their website and like I said because the lectures are split up you can really target your learning so for example if there's a topic you're really struggling on in anatomy for example like the circle of Willis I feel like everyone finds that quite difficult so for example if you were struggling with the circle of Willis and you didn't want to sit through an entire lecture on the anatomy of the brain you can literally go on their website and find a seven minute lecture on the circle of Willis to recap it and really go over it again another great feature on the website is their smart recall quizzes and the website uses space repetition in a similar way to Anki so you can really get your active recall in with these quizzes. So it will show you questions that you've been weaker on or perhaps got wrong a few times and use that active recall to make sure that you're really cementing that knowledge and making sure you're getting things right in time for your exams. So another great feature I really like is the bank of medical concept pages. They have basically pages and pages of notes that are really high quality. They have great diagrams and illustrations and they're just set out in a way that's quite aesthetically pleasing as well. So I'd recommend checking out the notes as well when you're on the website. And also sometimes it's nice if you don't really fancy sitting for a lecture or watching another video just to read through something at your own pace. Those are some of the best features on the Lecturio website in my opinion. I would absolutely recommend checking it out for yourself though just so you can look through the website and really see what they've got on offer. They are a subscription based service. Um, I have actually very kindly been given a discount to share with you. I will pop that in the description box below. With that code you'll be able to get a discount on some of their different contracts they do you can choose a three month one or a one year plan or some even longer plans but i will let you look at that for yourself by following the link in the description and i just wanted to say as well thank you so much to lecturio for sponsoring this video wednesday morning i went to work in a cafe just for a change of scene i had the christmas tunes going to motivate me while i work and again, I was just finishing off the discussion and writing some conclusions as well. Um, and I also managed to exceed the word count of the entire project. So the word count maximum is 6,000, um, not including references and a few other bits, but it was over the 6,000. So I had to start cutting bits out at this point. So we're going up to London tomorrow and Jack doesn't have a winter coat. I do. You I have do? a skiing coat. He has a skiing Red. coat. But he's decided to try on my fluffy coat. 
You gonna do a little catwalk for us? Do a little, do a little twirl. No. <laughs> I feel like I'm always putting you in this cupboard in the kitchen at the moment. I have just got back from town, my laptop died and I didn't take my charger, which was a rookie mistake. I have pretty much finished the project. Obviously, I'm still waiting for feedback on my results section and I need to now send my supervisor the discussion section for him to feedback to me. But other than the abstract, which I was hoping to do today, I'm pretty much done. The abstract is only 300 words, so hopefully that isn't going to take me too long. We've got two weeks till the end of term and I've actually pretty much got my project together. I'm very happy because normally I'm the kind of person that's writing stuff right up until the night before. Obviously don't want to jinx it, my supervisor might come back and tell me whatever and it's complete and utter rubbish and I need to do it all again. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. The biggest part is going to be the presentation in January, obviously that's a scary bit. Anyway, gonna leave the abstract for now. I need to get on with some video editing because I haven't uploaded a vlog in six weeks or something like that so i'm gonna get that done now before i go and do a workout with my friend freya also very excitingly we got our timetable through for the first week of term in january where we are building up to starting placement so we'll have an introduction to clinical placements we'll have basic life support training we'll have a medical ethics day and then two of the days are the project conference where we're presenting our research placements are on the horizon it's starting to feel real this time next month, I'm gonna be starting my first placement of medical school. My video editing session consisted of recording voiceovers, just like I'm doing now for the vlog, while sat in a pile of washing that definitely needed putting away. Um, but I didn't have time to do that because I was meeting Freya for our gym class. <laughs> popped home showered and got ready and now i'm heading out for dinner with the girlies and jack has very kindly offered to drop me down there oh. but he's feeling a little bit better now aren't you dear yeah yeah Do you look okay you look gorgeous thanks we had dinner at this indian restaurant in town and it was absolutely delicious a lot of the girls were heading home for Christmas early because the beauty of Project is you can do it from home once you've got all your data. So a lot of people were treating themselves and leaving Southampton early for Christmas. Um, so this was like our little goodbye before the new year. Good morning. Welcome to another day in the life. Hello, Jack. Today we are in London, we stayed here last night in a Premier Inn because we went to the O2 to watch the comedian Mo Gilligan and that was Jack's birthday present and it wasn't just Mo Gilligan, it was loads of different comedians, it was the black British comedy takeover and it was very funny, um, my cheeks were hurting by the end of it because I was laughing so much and uh, Mo Gilligan is one of Jack's favourite comedians at the moment so he definitely enjoyed the show. So yeah, we've been staying in this Premier Inn in Canary Wharf and it was actually quite affordable for December in London. Um, obviously, it is a Thursday night, so I think that's why we ended up getting it cheaper. But we have a really nice view of Canary Wharf from here. We're having a festive day in London today, so I'm going to bring you with me. We are going for some brunch, and then we're meeting up with some of my friends from school for a few Christmas drinks and a wander around the markets. Anyway, we did oversleep, and we need to check out now, so we're going to set off on our big adventure. how she greeted us after walking up how many steps 193 steps at Covent Garden station hi guys <laughs> we're just in Covent Garden and we're heading to Leicester Square Christmas market Amber Tara and Jess were laughing at me because apparently I look like I'm going to the North Pole it is cold but it's yeah, not like you're it's not like sub-zero cold <laughs> I have gloves as well. So do I. It's alright guys, I, I, I came with mittens. Have I, you got I, mittens? Yeah, I have got mittens. I haven't had the chance to wear them yet though, but... Oh, they're cute. Where are they from? Okay. Ag! Ag! 
phone. Yeah, so Amber sent a message in the group chat. It was like, guys, wrap up. It's going to be minus three at the weekend in London. So I did just that, and now I'm being laughed at. So, Jack, are you cold? No. How was the train ride up from Paul? It was okay. It got delayed. Yeah, the Clapham, the Clapham oh, Junction because of all the there. issues. But I was just telling these guys, there was a guy in front of me who was evidently supposed to be at his office. Oh, he's he was like, work. guys, my train's been sat at Clapham for an hour. We've been lying? there 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, the big tree's here. We love a Christmas tree. We've spot the Glossier. Jack is shat his pants. He can't believe it. Oh no, there's a queue. Oh no, we can't go. <laughs> No, that's just the boyfriend queue. Oh, it's so pretty though. Okay, we're not going in because of the queue. Damn, I really wanted to go. <laughs> okay, Leicester Square markets weren't very good because there's nowhere to sit down. So we're going to go to a pub instead. Shall I Google Green King? Hello. Hi Taz. How's your singing career going? It's going good. I'm singling the Christmas songs at the moment. You've been busy, Can haven't you? Can you put my... Um, Christmas song over um, this over, over some Christmas montage. Will you send me it and I'll put it in the video? Yeah, well, I, get, I actually just thought about that right now, but can you keep that? Yeah, will I get oh. copyrighted? No, because it's like so it's it's like a lo fi Christmas cover of um, Moon River. Yeah. I heard it, it's really oh, good. Yeah, yeah, okay, that, but I feel like it could, could be cute with like little Christmassy clips, you know? Okay, insert Christmassy montage featuring it now, Tara's your track, place. and I will link it below if you enjoy. <laughs> I may freeze to death before I make another vlog entry. <laughs> we left the South Bank Centre because it was just too cold. But Tara has asked if she can <laughs> update you on something. Um, hello. I should apologise for how much I ripped into Lydia when she first arrived into London because I thought she looked ridiculous. It is about minus three degrees <laughs> and this is the appropriate attire for this temperature. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to you in the studio. Matt joined us earlier. Hello. Hello. Um, he's now taking us to a, a Spoons. Where are you taking no, us, Matt? Just, no? just a pub. Just the a hole pub. in the wall. Matt knows his way not? around a few There's pubs. There's definitely a weather spoon called Hole in the Wall, is there not? No, there definitely in Bournemouth is. there definitely is. There's a hole is in the wall. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's why I just assumed oh, it was a weather spoon. <laughs> but I'm going to stop vlogging oh, now. I love a KFC. Oh, don't. I actually, I've eaten so much today. I feel like I've eaten no, my way. Them, no, I've eaten you my way. You had breakfast and then you had half a pretzel. Half a pretzel and you had some little pancakes. No, and I had a truffle burger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that was dinner. <laughs> I, I mean, I just might get KFC on the way yeah, home. Yeah, I'm going to wrap up. Today's little festive day out because we're gonna go get one more drink and then get the train home. Yeah. 